Today, sweet little Emily will finally see that I'm the golden child. You're both special in your own way! The exam is easy! <gasps> I hate you! Uh, Harry, it's okay if you hurt me, but please don't say that. Then where were you when I needed you the most? It's time. Please let it be easy. Ha <laughs> ha look who we ran into. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the little nerd that studies too hard. Aw, oh, don't feel too bad. You'll both catch up in a million years. Aw, oh, is little Harry gonna run away again? Too bad Nerdzilla won't see him chicken out. Say that again. <laughs> you two are the dumbest people in school. Nah, we're still your seniors, nerd. I'm gonna give you a lesson on respect. Oh, little Daniel and Callum want to teach a lesson. <laughs> First, learn how to study. Secondly, just quit. You'll never make your parents proud. That's a low blow. And do I care after how much you've hurt me? <laughs> no. did the triangle say to the circle? Um, what? <laughs> You're pointless. Oh, oh, here's another one. What did one math book say? Hey, Harry, you're finally here. Just waiting for you was making my IQ drop. Sometimes I worry about you, Alex. What? Why? Alex, did you even study for the math test? Relax. We're gonna get an easy hundred on this math test. <gasps> Can highly intelligent people understand how normal people think? Hey, I'm not bashing your efforts. Some people don't even study at ACE exams. Oh, really? Like who? Well, you know, uh, maybe that Cammy girl. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> Is it today Emily's midterms? I hope she does great. Oh, Alex, she'll do just fine. Did Big Brother Harry finally grow a heart for his little sister, Emily? <laughs> I could never be more proud of Emily after today. Why? What's gonna happen today? <laughs> today, sweet little Emily will finally see that I'm the golden child. Harry? What? Do you have a spot in your heart for Emily? Aww, leaving so soon, but I haven't even told you what I did. Ugh, I've lost faith in you, and I've lost faith in humanity. What? You've never heard of random acts of kindness? Ugh, 
It's like I want to throw you off a cliff that rush to the bottom to catch you. So, what's stopping you? You, you idiot! The exam is easy! What's three-fifths of a hundred? Of course it's sixty! Oh, look at Emily! She's answering the question so quickly and confidently! Yes, Queen! Ace it! I'm done with my exam. I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take out your anger on me. I did nothing wrong. You're the one using your sister as a stress ball. You won't understand. When will you realize that you and Emily are loved equally? You're both special in your own way. Oh, I've had it with your nonsense, Alex. You always lie to me. I have never lied to you. Yes, you have. I'll be sure to teach you a lesson and show you. Oh yeah? What's Bobby's widow boy going? <coughs> oh, you're the third guy I've punched today. Boy, it feels good. Oh, poor Harry is gonna get kicked out of college. Nerd is right. Ah, seriously? Don't tell me you're giving up being cool because of his words. Being cool is not having your parents disappointed in you. But they're already disappointed in you. You can't disappoint them if you've never made them proud. Listen, chump. Whose side are you on? Uh... Throwing hands. Should we call it teacher? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Record this and post it on TikTok. It'll go viral. going to expose you for the loser that you are. Ha! <laughs> and I don't have to because you're already a loser and you know it. Mia will never love you. And Emily, she finds you disgusting. Ah! Who even are you? Harry? Huh? I... Alex, are you... Screw you, Alex. You ruined everything. I've been expecting you. <sighs> the cat's out of the bag now. Harry, tell me the truth. Did you hide my notes? Harry, answer me. I have nothing to say to you. Plus, I wouldn't want to talk to you if I did. I got a call from the Hill family today, Harry. You beat up Alex today. What? And what if I did? He and his stupid face had it coming long ago. 
Ever since you've stepped foot in this house, you've caused nothing but trouble. One thing after the other. I hate you! Harry! How dare you punch your father? Is that what we have taught you growing up? Hurting the ones you love? You're always pushing us to the side. Always trying to ruin your sister's life. I am tired of you giving Emily everything that she wants and putting me aside always! So, it's true. I have always hated that smile on your face. I, I know you don't mean that, Harry. I love- <laughs> Don't you dare say that to me! It's okay if you hurt me, but please don't say that. Say what? The truth? You have always taken everything that I've wanted. You have always been the golden child. A plus in studies, friends who love you, parents who are proud of you, but me? But I... Five A's? Good job, Emily! I'm so proud of you! Your first day, and you're already acing the year! Mom, Mom, I got an A again! That's my girl! Go ahead and take a seat. I'll make you pancakes. I didn't know you felt this way, Harry. It's always you. You and you. But me? I'm just the odd one out, huh? Emily this, Emily that! Stop taking my life away from me! <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I love you. I... I wish you would have left me to die so I wouldn't suffer being compared to you every single day of my life! Harry, take a deep breath. Just... shut up, Mom! Stop pretending that you care! That's enough, Harry. You need to leave. Dad... Please, no! Emily! And even now, you don't care! That's not true, Harry. We love- Then where were you when I needed you the most? Where were you when I tried to hide Emily's notes and tried to ruin her life? Where were you when I got crap grades and just wanted to be told, you can do it? I've always tried talking to you, but you never... <laughs> you are the worst sister I could ever ask for. Harry, please don't! I'm done running around trying to get you to notice me. Please, Harry, we can talk about this! Oh, I'm sure you'd be delighted to compare yourself to your stupid brother. If you want to have my life so badly, then take it. I quit. If only I could see that my son was in so much pain. I always treated him differently because I thought he was immature. But I've been so wrong. I'll get him back, Mom. He's never coming back. He made a promise to protect me, Mom. But this time it's my turn to protect him. My babies. I know they can overcome this. Here again. Great. Of course, of course it's raining! <sighs> I 
Even Curse the Cowardly Dog didn't run this fast. Emily, you're the last person I want to see right now. Leave me alone! Where did we go wrong, Harry? <laughs> Are you seriously trying to piss me off right now? Of course not, Harry. Uh, just why? Why are you even here, Emily? Did you really think that I would let you feel like you're all alone? Nobody cares about me, Emily. But whatever. This time, I'm never coming back. Harry, no! Stop, Harry! Shut up, Emily! Just let me jump in peace! At least this is something I can do by myself without any worries! I'm going with you then! If you want to jump, then I'll jump with you! Uh, are you crazy? Who will look after our parents and if we both jump together? They need you! Since you're being selfish, I guess I'll say things from your point of view. They can take care of themselves. You never sound like that. You're always a golden child. I didn't ask to be a golden child. I never wanted to be the golden child. You promised you would protect me, Harry, a long time ago. This time, let me protect you. I love you. I'll always will till death do his part. Hi, Emily. Whee! I'm so fast, Harry! You did it again! Don't go too fast! <gasps> but not everything will go as you expect in your life. I know I couldn't be there for you when you were hurting. I didn't know you felt this way because you never talked about it. <sighs> it's not your fault, Emily. I just wish Mom and Dad gave me some love too. Mom and Dad don't show it, but they love you, Harry. They love you so much. Ah, <sighs> I've just been lost, confused, scared. I just... Wanted Mom and Dad to be proud of you? Yeah. If it matters to you, I'm proud of you. I don't deserve to be your brother after what I did to you. We all make mistakes, Harry. And you just wanted love and attention. I just wish... That you were something more. But I love you just the way you are. Emily, I punched Dad, shouted at Mom, and tried to ruin your life. If I don't forgive myself, then why should you forgive me? The answer is simple. I love you. What? But I don't understand. We will always be family, even if we don't see eye to eye. Nothing will change my love for you. Then you're the only one who loves me. That's not true, and you know it. I've been a horrible brother and a horrible friend. No one has all the answers to all their problems. We should move forward step by step. Ah, don't you have to go home? I would if a certain someone stops being grumpy. <laughs> ah, fine. Ah, so, did you ace your test? No thanks to you. Let's go home, Harry. Yeah. I promise you, Emily, that we'll take care of our family together and look out for each other, one step at a time. No matter what happens, I love you.
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when sky's all grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you, but happy birthday, Harry! Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Harry! Hey, Emily? <laughs> yes, Harry? <laughs> well, want to make a wish with me? Sure, I would love to. <laughs> What'd you both wish for? To always be with my family. And you, Harry? That we always love each other, no matter what happens. Hey, Harry? Yeah? Want to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog again? Sure. Only if Mom and Dad can watch it with us. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Emily, I love you. We love, love you too. too. I'll always be here for you, and I'm never going to leave your side. Mom, where's the popcorn? The golden child may be the oldest one, unless it's the youngest. It may be the toughest one, unless it's the most sensitive. It's not even necessary that mom and dad have the same favorite, and typically they don't. But a parent's love is whole no matter how many times it's divided, because love doesn't begin and end the way that we seem to think it does.